everybody, welcome to the beautiful city of Vancouver. We are in Canada, guys. Yes. This is our second time in Canada. The first time was years ago before yes. we even thought about vlogging. This is actually my third time in Canada. I have been to Vancouver before. That is true. <laughs> um, we are at the Lynn Canyon Park right now um, because we are gonna be doing a hike. We're gonna hopefully go across the suspension bridge. If you're like, Julia, why do you keep making Brandon do things with heights? He's afraid of heights. This was his idea. Not my idea. That is true. But <laughs> so, also, like, a lot of stuff is filmed here, like, um, yes. your um, Virgin show. River. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Virgin River is filmed, like, at this park. Um, but everything is filmed I, in Vancouver, Hallmark movies, all kinds of things, because it's beautiful. So we want to take you along to show you some of the beauty that Vancouver has to offer. So come along with us. Let's do this. We're still basically in the parking lot, but we feel like we're in the wilderness already. We also look like hikers. Look at our hiking boots. We look so official. I don't know if you could tell, but we're uh, not typically hikers, but it looks so pretty. There are restrooms here at the beginning of the trail. That's always good to know. And all the trails are marked, and there's a map right over there, so we're not gonna get lost, hopefully. There was a black bear sighting today. That's exciting. And we got dropped off right by where the suspension bridges so that's good so we know where we are and it looks so beautiful wow there are mountains back there I'm excited there's a beautiful waterfall right over here I knew I heard water somewhere yeah it just rained so waterfalls nice and in action and the suspension bridges it's short it's small it's not scary right over here looking fresh there are also stairs this way that take you on a different path you don't have to go on the suspension bridge I don't think there are many different ways that you can go honestly I don't think the suspension bridge looks that bad no I'll let you know after we do it but it doesn't look it looks worse in pictures there's a much bigger suspension bridge in Vancouver we're doing the other one uh, okay. yeah, yeah yeah all right time to walk on the suspension bridge oh it's a little scary when you step on because it actually it moves a bit I don't love that, but otherwise, it's beautiful. Wow. I love this. How are you doing back there, Beans? Double <laughs> angle. <laughs> it is a bit tight, but we're going to stop and take some pictures too because this is just amazing. Wow. Look on this side. I'm afraid to drop the camera. Wow. This is amazing. Here's another good view from here. Wow. It is very crowded on the bridge. So you're aware. But it's beautiful. It does shake a little bit. Nothing crazy. But it's beautiful. Exiting the suspension bridge. Whew, it's a bit steep. All right, we just got off the suspension bridge. What did you think? I thought it was really fun. It wasn't very long, so it wasn't scary really. The rocking um, can be like a bit nerve wracking, but it doesn't move a ton. Um, I don't know, I thought it was really fun. It was so beautiful that you're not even thinking about yeah. like that it's scary, I feel like. Yeah, I thought the, the hike in Diamond Head was worse. Yeah. For me, yeah. I was a even able to do it and I wasn't that bad. Diamond Head, if you don't know, that's a hike in Hawaii. We did that last year around this time. I'll link that in the description down below if you didn't see us do that. Yeah. Um, but that was really fun. Also, we're going to do a bit more of the hike since we were dropped off literally at the suspension bridge. And um, so far, the hike has been on boards. So if you want to show down just to show our feet, just to see what we're walking on, it's all boards. So, so far at least. So far. So it yeah. hasn't been any kind of crazy terrain. I always am nervous because we're not like avid hikers. Oh, we're avid hikers. <laughs> look, so, if you can dress the part, you look the part. I know, fake until you make it. So we will show you what we're seeing. It's beautiful here. The trees are really high up and stunning. So we're happy. It's so beautiful, like rainforesty down here. The I don't know much about plants, but I can tell you they're beautiful and lush and green. The trees so high up. They canopy very high. There is water 
going through down here. Brandon has his binoculars looking for that bear. I'm looking for that bear. That's what I just said. You're looking for the bear. Any any uh, luck? Uh, no. All right, we're getting to parts that aren't um, boarded. It's still okay. There's still places that you can step. It's still fairly well maintained, so that's great. I still feel safe to you. This is just such a beautiful trail. It's so different than what we would normally see back home as well as what we saw when we had hiked Diamond Head. I love it. Here's another shot. There's like cool routes down here. And this is not exactly a path. I don't know that I would say to go down here. Definitely, definitely not. But there's a good view of the water down over here. It's beautiful. That is a nice boulder, right, Bean? I claimed this one. He claimed it. I love it. I love Forest it. Land. Brandonia. Wow, I don't think that's a good call. I love it. Oh, I think we could get close to the water over here. Over here, we're right by the water. I don't know if you can hear me because the water's pretty loud. But it's beautiful. This really reminds me of when we did the uh, the Bloom Gorge up yeah. in New Hampshire. Yeah. Um, but you can't like compare apples to bananas. You know, they're kind of different. Who says apples to bananas? Apples to oranges. You, you can't, you know, compare you know tuna fish to ketchup. What? Um, but I mean, they're both beautiful. But, um, I remember we did uh, something very similar with the Flume Gorge. Yeah. It was very similar. I know that video hasn't gone up yet. Yeah. Something to look forward to. But it's beautiful. The water's very cold to the touch, but it's lovely. I think if we continue up, it looks like there's another spot up there that we can go. So let, let's go there now. Why do all these trees just look so cool to us? I wish the sun wasn't whiting out the camera, but it looks so cool. Like the trees are so mossy looking. I love it. We made it to the swimming hole. It's cold, so nobody's swimming, but we made it. I honestly feel tempted to go in even though it's cold out. No, you? I know, but we don't have a change of clothes, unfortunately. That was so awesome. That We're gonna so insert a picture that uh, another couple took of us right over here. Yeah, that was so nice of them. I always appreciate when people are like, do you want us to take a picture of you? And then of course we do it in return. So shout out to them. Um, it is gorgeous here. I, I, I just can't believe it's stunning. It's so nice. There are stairs. Do you want to show the stairs up here that there are more, there's so much more trails. There are about a bazillion trails that you can go on here. But we have more fun to take you on today, so I think that we're just going to go back the other way. Okay. Um, unless maybe... Alright, so before we leave, we definitely want to go up those stairs. Up the stairs. <laughs> we yeah. want to know what's up the stairs. We can't. Um, we were just saying we could do these hikes like all day long because it's just so beautiful and peaceful out here. But like I said, we have so many more fun things to do today. We don't want to miss out on all Vancouver has to offer. We only have today to explore the city. but. We're gonna go up the stairs. We just need to know what's up these stairs. It's pretty steep. There's kind of a lot of them, but we're curious. These are the last of the stairs. They were never ending. Very out of breath from walking up those stairs. Just drank some water. How do you feel about the stairs? I'm just uh, hot because it's, it's hot outside. It's actually not hot outside. It's like under 60 degrees. But after walking up those stairs, it's hot outside. Yes. <sighs> this is what it looks like at the top of the stairs, so more beautiful nature. We can look down now instead of looking up, which is cool. We've been kind of looking up the whole time, so our perspective does change. But the trees are still quite high up. So there is a map right here. We're here. We need to get back to the suspension bridge. So instead of going back the way we came, which was our original plan, we're going to kind of try to get this way. We finished our hike and this is what we walked out to. Absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. All right, so that is Lynn Canyon, the park. Yes. In Vancouver. We just scratched the surface, but the it was hike beautiful. was gorgeous. Yes. 
um, the suspension bridge was really awesome to conquer. Yeah, and the swimming pool, the 30 foot pool I think is what it's called, was so beautiful. Loved it. And what are we doing next? We are going to be going to the Vancouver Aquarium. Yeah. Which is super awesome because last time I went to an aquarium was in the first grade. So what? that was, yes. No way. Yes. That's so sad. Um, yeah, <laughs> we have uh, the New England Aquarium by us that we need to uh, eventually go to. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I'm excited to see some fish and hopefully they have like sharks and, and stuff. That'll be really awesome. Yeah, I'm excited to see what they've got. Yeah. All right. So stay tuned. Woo. We made it to the Vancouver Aquarium. Look at this. So little, excited. Uh, this uh, fountain, I love this. It's so cute. We're really hungry, so we're probably going to take one of our precious meals at the cafe. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll just have to have two lunches, it's fine. <laughs> they have this cute wall with, I think sponsors. a lot of these are sponsors or donors to the aquarium, I love that. Many volunteers. Look at all the fishies. This is right when you walk in through the entrance. So like, you walk in and it's like, boom, aquarium. It's so cool. It even says what all the different fish are. Can you identify them in our video? I like the blood star. It has a kind of scary name, but they're pretty looking. These are so awesome. I like the uh, giant humos anemone. Me too. Look, look at, at that. Right there. All along the oh, top. Wow. Very cool. They look like cute little flowers. They do, I love them. But all the fish floating around. They look kind of like cauliflower. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. I like the sculpin. He's cool. I like this guy. Also, it's uh, feeding time over here. Is that a pickle? It's definitely lettuce. I think that's a pickle. Over there, above the lettuce. Yeah. It's possible, yeah. That's definitely a pickle. That's weird. Hi, friend. Nice to meet you. We're already so distracted and we literally just walked in. This guy is redesigning his house. I love this. Look at that. Architect. Look at that. All right, walking in, we're going to start in the tropics. There's different sections with uh, difficult, uh, difficult, uh, different <laughs> tropical fish. They're really hard. They're really difficult. I like this guy hanging in the coral. Chilling. Oh, that one? This one. He's hiding. <laughs> I feel that. I feel that a lot. Aquariums are definitely oh very Look peaceful. They're like little, there's a bunch of them. They're like little snake friends. He's like dancing. I like them. Dance on, friend. Dance on. Those little dancing snake friends are called spotted garden eels. I like it. Okay. This guy right here kind of reminds me of a um, a dark colored Nemo. This friend over here reminds me of uh, another dark colored Dory. That's a yellow tail pen. Tang, yeah, isn't it's she a tang? A, it is a dory, yeah. Interesting. Is is there a Nemo? Is there a clownfish? Uh, that's a anemone fish. Okay. But it's not a clownfish. Okay. But they do live in an anemone. So, so I was I was kind there. of correct. Look at this beast, this Goliath. I like it. It's kind of pretty. Look at all the colors. Matching the wow. hairy. It's actually kind of beautiful. He is huge. There's another ray in this back corner right there. Do you see that other ray right, right here? So here are some of the piranhas. I don't know what they're all staring at. I like their gold flakes. They're pretty. Oh look, that one shows its teeth. Did it? They got scarlet ibis here. It's very warm in this section. Well, lucky for you, you said you were cold. So. I was cold. So now you're warming up. Monkeys don't make good pets. Get a monkey as a pet. Trust the sign. These fish aren't labeled for some reason, but they're really cool. I like them a lot. Nice coloring. They're very flat. I love looking at jellyfish in aquariums. They look so cool under the UV light. This is the chocolate chip spined starfish. Cooking star. 
Look at that. That's so awesome. That's a lionfish. He's very, very loving the camera. He shows off a lot. They don't have a lot of natural predators, but they eat a lot of things. That's my new friend right there. He's so happy. Look at him. Look at him go. Look at the grumpy Nemo. And then over here, we got a whole bunch of them. We also got Dories in here. to Pacific Canada and see what's in there. Yay! These are bigger jellyfish compared to the ones we saw a couple minutes earlier. They're always floating upside down. Why is that? I think these are lion made jellyfish. These fish are really cool. I don't know what they're called yet. They're very colorful. These fish are found in the Barkley Sound, which is actually quite close to Vancouver, which is quite cool actually. Aw, be nice. These rose anemones are very beautiful. They're found in Bella Bella, which is a part of Vancouver Island. And all these fish are also found there, which is awesome. Hi, friend. I like this, um, the aesthetic <laughs> of this fish tank. I feel like it suits me as well. Look at all the moon jellies. They're so pretty. These are not jellyfish, they're plastic bags, but they look like jellyfish, so sea turtles often mistake them for plastic bags, so make sure you recycle your plastic bags or reuse them so that they don't end up in the ocean. We found otters outside. Look how cute they are. They're huge. An that apple. one's eating something. Oh yeah, it is an apple. Oh my god, they're huge. Oh wow. I hope we can see otters in real life soon, like in the wild. Oh, I'm glad we got to see them. It looks like they're going inside. No, it looks like I have another exhibit on the other side. Gotta go that way to see what's popping up there. Look at this guy. Where'd he go? We have a seal friend. It's nice and sunny out right now, it feels good. And he's just chilling. This is a really big space, so I think there's probably more of them, but this is the only one I can see now. I think this is a harbor seal. There are no signs where we are, but I feel pretty confident about that. So Donnelly, the har harbor seal who we were looking at earlier, she was rescued and she was in critical condition, but they were thankfully able to nurse her back to health and then they had discovered that she was pregnant and she gave birth to a healthy daughter and they named her Dory and they were able to release her back. The main goal here at this AZA accredited uh, aquarium is that they rehab and release but in certain circumstances they're not able to release back into the wild so sometimes they do keep them like they have another um, sea lion over there her name's Bella Bella she was rescued when she was too young so she's unreleasable so she'll stay here I've got some sea lions over here just chilling we have a sea lion friend over here these friends were just play fighting before, but now they're just chilling together. I kind of get the feeling that this sea lion right here is Bella Bella. She looks like it from the picture, but I don't know for sure. Oh my gosh, they have babies. They're so cute. Wow, I've never seen babies before. So we talked to a worker here and we found out that they are sea lions. They're called fur seals, but they're still sea lions. And they're actually not babies. They are the five 
there are five females. They're 14 years old, and then there's one male who will grow up to be much bigger, but he's he's young for now. But I thought that was really interesting. I was certain they were babies, but they're not. They are actually just a different species, so that's why they're smaller. A diff well, I guess not exactly a different species, but you know what I mean. They're a different type of sea lion. We've got some penguin friends. It's a bit messy on the glass, but you can see them. They're very cute. As you can see, there is a massive sea lion there. There's humans for size, um, but apparently there's a show, or we might have just missed a show, but he is huge. Looks like he's trying to go back inside. Yeah, he's ready to take a nap. I don't think it's a sea lion show. Honestly, I think that this might just be his exhibit, but he is big, like really, really, really big. Do you hear him? <laughs> he's asking to be fed, I think. He is a large sea lion. There's a big narwhal hanging from the ceiling. Gonna see what's down here. They have a narwhal skull and tusk right here. Narwhals are real, in case people were confused. I know a lot of people think that they're not real, but they are real. We went downstairs and we found a big friend and some funny looking wraith as well. Look how many legs this sea star has. It's like a bazillion. No, it's just one. That's so cool. Lots of fishies in here too. Of course. It's a cool tank. They also have a whole exhibit dedicated to froggies. These are golden frogs and they are very poisonous. Pop, pop. That is our time here at the Vancouver Aquarium. Yes, it was so lovely. Yes, I enjoyed my time here. A lot of uh, cute fish, a lot of fun. Um, experiences. Yeah. Uh, it was it was really calming. I feel like zen right now. Same. My favorite part of the aquarium was the otters specifically, but also I really liked seeing the seals and the sea lions and the especially the really small sea lions, the furry seals or whatever they were called. They were so cute. What was your favorite part? I liked the uh, the big turtle. I oh, liked yeah. all of the the rays. Yeah, the, they were fun. The shark. Yeah. Uh, and everything on the outside, so the seals, the sea lions, uh, the penguins, uh, that that big guy that we saw at the end, he that was, was awesome. Huge. It was huge. It really was a fun aquarium. I would definitely recommend checking it out. It was very fun. It does close kind of early. It's a Saturday. They've already closed the doors. It's four o'clock. Four o'clock. So something to be aware of but it was definitely worth the trip. Yes. I would definitely come. And now we're trying to figure out what we're gonna do next. So come along and let's figure it out together. Here is the skyline for Vancouver. It's quite beautiful. We just walked right down from the aquarium. This is Stanley Park. Lots of boats. I think there's a yacht club over there. There's a little, so I was gonna say swan, that's not right, goose. It's very pretty. This is the seawall. We're just gonna walk along it for a bit. See what we stumble across. There's apparently a lighthouse, so we're gonna see it. It's so beautiful. Over here, just walking along the seawall. I love it. Along the path of the seawall, there are totem poles. You'll just see them from the wall, and then you can just go off and look at them. There's also a gift shop. It's free to look at the totem poles. Gift shop's not free, but we're gonna look up close at these. Here's a look, a closer look at the totem poles. I'll also show the other side. But they have some stories. You can see a little better if I stand in front of it with my shadow. It tells some stories about it. So one of these tells a story about an ancestor who survived the Great Flood and gave people the first canoe. And the hero is shown here riding a killer whale. Um, and was taken under the sea to the home of the Sea World's chief and was brought back the right to use all of the Sea Kingdom masks. It's pretty cool. There's also a giantess at, that sits at the base of the pole, symbolizing her central role in bringing magic and wealth to her people. And that's this one right here. That's this story. This That story is for this totem pole right here. Cool. Here is a look from the other side. These are really spectacular pieces of art. This one right here also has another story. Honestly, they all have stories, but this beaver crest pole 
has a story and it goes like this. Once five brothers went to hunt beaver skins for a feast. The youngest brother helped the young beavers escape and followed them to their lodge. He watched as they took off their beaver cloaks to reveal human forms and tell of the death and destruction of their chief. He watched their songs and dances and then returned home to report what he had seen. The brother performed the dances of the beaver people at a feast and raised a pole called Big Beaver. It was at this time that the Eagle Chief met and shared the skies with the Raven, which is another story. And that's the Beaver Crest Pole. I love that. Walked out of the totem pole area, and here's the cruise terminal and beautiful mountains. Still snow capped over there. Beautiful. And there's the lighthouse we're going to go see. We made it to the lighthouse. So cute. Lighthouse, you can kind of like walk up the stairs and get different views. You don't have to pay or anything, it's just something to walk through. You probably get best lighthouse views from up here. Hi. Cute. Alrighty friends, that is a wrap here at Stanley Park. We had so much fun walking around the totem poles, the, the, the lighthouse behind us, the beautiful views of the, the ocean. Yeah. This is where I know. I feel like if you're going to do one thing while you're here in Vancouver, do this. Yes, I, I totally agree. Alrighty, friends. That is a wrap on Stanley Park. We will catch you guys in two seconds. Brandon's been super into cider recently, so we went to a place called Cider House for dinner, which is actually Vancouver's first cider tap house. They serve craft cider and plant-based food options, and it was super popular in there, but spoiler alert, it was worth the wait. Here's my flight. The ciders I got are the blackberry hibiscus, the blood orange, kiwi salted lime, and paradise. The blackberry hibiscus was really good. I really liked it. Uh, it didn't have a lot of strong flavors of blackberry. It was really subtle. It was also one of my favorites. The blood orange really tasted like orange. Julia thought it tasted like a nice wine. It was also one of my favorites. The kiwi salted lime was really good. It just had a really strong taste of alcohol to it. Lastly, we had the paradise. It had a very strong flavor of pears. So this was definitely my least favorite. This is my flight with pineapple jalapeno, kiwi salted lime, strawberry balsamic, and petals and roots ciders. So I thought the pineapple jalapeno one, which is this, was extremely good. It had a bit of an after spice to it, and you can taste the pineapple, but mostly the jalapeno. For kiwi salted lime, I thought that the salt came through a lot and that it was basically a margarita, but as a cider. The strawberry balsamic was really heavy on the balsamic, and it was really interesting. We were both like, wow, when we drank it. The Petals and Roots was definitely my favorite. It was exactly what it said, floral and ginger, and it kind of reminded me of tea. The food was great. The guac was fresh. These Brussels sprouts were really crispy and salty and lemony, and these fries were Brandon's favorite thing. All right, friends, we are tired. We are exhausted. We did Vancouver for you guys. There it is. We hope you really enjoyed it. We had such a great day. Amazing. So jam-packed. But it was so amazing. I'm wearing my robe from the hotel. Hotel gave us robes. We will be doing a quick little room tour for you because we are going on a cruise tomorrow. That's why we're here in Vancouver. I don't think we even said that at any point. But it was such an amazing day in Vancouver. We definitely will be coming back here again. So if we do, let us know what we missed, what we should be doing next time. And what was your favorite thing that we did? Yes. What was your favorite thing that we did? Yes. Yeah? Yes. <laughs> and what was your favorite thing that we did? Yes. Let us know in the comments down below. Honestly, to sum up, it was truly, truly a jam-packed but magical day. We loved it. Yeah. All right, with that being said, hope you enjoyed today's video. Like Julia said, let us know in the comments down below what did we miss, uh, if anything. But we hope to be back in Vancouver one day. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to follow along on all of our journeys. And travel adventures. And until the next video. Bye.